today at Oxford University, Keyboard College, we're sharing a game that we made with Men on Licence called Probationary, the Game of Life on Licence, and celebrating the partnership between FACT, Liverpool John Moores, and the Howard League for Penal Reform. In 60 hours, I ran workshops with the men, the academics and probation officers to think about how to encapsulate their experiences as a game. Research shows that the arts can bring about a difference in somebody, you can have an increased well-being, increased mental health. In the game of life, you don't get to choose who you are. I just thought it was a brilliant way of vividly bringing alive the ups and downs of life on supervision. I was kind of winning and then I just had to go back to the beginning and go back to prison and it was, it was gutting. These things that happen to the players are completely random, which I'm sure reflects reality. This is a different way of challenging policy and practice and public perceptions and I'm quite excited by the opportunity that this methodology might provide the most interesting thing for me is all the conversations that happen while different people play the game, and they're always different. It brought out a discussion about what it's like for people going through license. It might be able to impact upon the way we do things in probation, the way we treat people on probation, in a way that, that standard academic research practice might not do. I hope there's a future of probationary to continue to develop and to have an impact upon public policy and public attitudes. It makes people feel some of those things that people in this system are feeling. If we can begin to work differently and begin to think differently about these problems, that's the first step to seeking to effect change. Mm -hmm.